Typically, a patient would have a bypass operation if, in the general scenario, they started to have chest pain. That's often a harbinger of uh, a severe blockage, which means the heart's not getting a blood supply that it needs to that specific territory. They would be worked up by a cardiologist, one of our colleagues, and then they would have a cardiac cath done. The cardiac cath would actually show uh, the blockages and give us an idea of what needed to be bypassed and, and where we would bypass the, the blockage. Coronary artery bypass surgery, or cabbage, is performed through the chest. It's open heart surgery. We use the heart and lung machine. And then we use blood vessels from around the body to reroute the blood around the heart, around the blockages, to give the heart muscle more blood supply. One of the most common questions I get is, why is it called a bypass? And the reason we call it that is that we are literally bypassing the blockage, like a detour around a construction site. We don't remove the blockage but we're giving more blood supply to the heart by rerouting the blood around that flow limiting disease portion. When we do a bypass operation, we can use a variety of, of methods. One is we almost always use that left internal mammary artery. We like that vessel going to the main vessel that feeds the front wall of the heart, the left anterior descending. Frequently, we'll also use the right internal mammary artery as well and that can go to a variety of locations also. We'll use the radial artery at times. We know that arterial grafts tend to have a little better durability than, uh, than the vein grafts, which are also very good. Uh, but we are more frequently, I think, turning to arterial conduits. Arterial grafting is important because it is more durable, therefore, you're less likely to have to have a second intervention such as a stent or even repeat bypass surgery because the artery is going to stay open and still do what it's supposed to do, which is to bypass blood around the blockages that exist. Whereas if you have a vein graft to that, as used as that particular bypass, it may not be open 10 years after surgery. And, and if that artery is an important artery, you could have symptoms that may require treatment in the future. So after having bypass surgery, it's probably going to take about four to six weeks to really get back to what was your baseline uh, functional status. If you were having shortness of breath or chest pain before your bypass surgery, that will oftentimes be better. But it does take a few weeks to get your energy back and get back to being fully active. The other things to remember about the bypass surgery is it addresses the blockages that you had at the time but it's important to modify your lifestyle, continue on your medications, and do the other things so that you don't get recurrent blockages and have to have more stents or additional bypass surgery five, 10, or 15 years down the road.